Hey, what's up everyone? I got a lot of interesting comments on my channel, so I'm just gonna read out and comment on some of them right now. So, let's get started. Alright. First one comes from Olivia Mott. I tried to show my baby Arya's turtle this, and it was trying not luck. Um, okay, that's, that's cool. Wedbash says, You're wrong, the girl is the smallest one because she has red line of the face, and the big one is a boy because he have orange line. This was posted on my video about how to sex your turtle, and sorry Wedbash, but you're wrong. Females are larger than males because they hold all the eggs, well, when it comes to ready your sliders anyways, and the line on the face has nothing to do with their sex. So, I'm right, you're wrong. Ree Fritz says, You can also tell by their cloacas, which is a small hole or vent on their tails. Males is closer to the tip of their tail and female is close to their shells. This is very helpful in sexing young turtles. Yeah, you could also sex a turtle by looking at their cloacas, but the thing is, it's not the most reliable... Well, it's not, it's not that it's not reliable, it's just that it's so much easier to look at their nails to see which one is longer. Because that way you don't have to flip a turtle over and like try to, I don't know, look at their butthole. But when it comes to younger turtles, it's not helpful at all because you can't actually tell the sex of a turtle uh, when with, with red eared sliders and most other basking species until they start growing their long nails. It, it's so much easier, so I just I just wouldn't even like bother with looking at their buttholes. Natalie Perez says. Both of my turtles have long nails, but when I bought them, the lady at the store told me one is male and one is female because, yes, my female is bigger than my male turtle, but they both have long nails. So does that mean my turtle is a female like the lady at the store said, or was she wrong? Did she... hold on, let's see now. Um, if they both have long nails, they're both males. So the lady at the store was wrong. Simple as that. Pla Pablo, Pablo the, I don't know, this comment was here three years ago, so. The problem is I cannot compare my turtle to other turtles the same age because my turtle doesn't want to reveal its age. I don't, I don't know why you would want to be comparing your turtles to other turtles at the same age, and I, how does your turtle not reveal, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I don't think turtles work that way, so it's, okay, whatever makes you happy. Okami-san says, How can make them feel comfortable with me? Uh, turtles are not pets that you want to touch. They're like dudes that chill around their tank and swim around. They don't want to be interacted with or messed around. Uh, so don't, don't touch them. If you want them to be comfortable with you, I don't just leave them alone. That's the best way to go about it. Oh, got my cell phone says, I found that sun drying the dock got rid of lots of algae. When I sun dried it for two hours, it was pretty much gone. Okay, so this was on a comment on my video on the, uh, the ZooMed Turtle Dock Review, which is, I'll just up, put the link over there. Um, and yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I've never tried that before. So if you guys have a turtle dock with a lot of algae on it, try drying out in the sun and then post a comment below to tell me how well that works because that sounds like it could work. So. Thanks for that, got my cell phone. Reptitan says, I really want a new species of turtle. Can you tell me a cheap one to buy? I want to house it with my radiard slider. Uh, turtles in general are pretty cheap, unless you're buying really exotic ones, but I wouldn't recommend you buy one just because you want a new turtle that's cheap, and I really wouldn't recommend you throw it in your tank with your radiard slider. Uh, if you want another turtle, get a new setup for the new turtle. It's not, a, unless of course you have a massive pond where you could just uh, put more turtles in, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that because sliders are crazy uh, and it, they might attack each other and you might think it's, they're each other's food and then you're going to end up having to separate them anyways and you might have to have some uh, veterinarian bills on top of it. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Just get a new tank. Bony man, do you know the temp that a painted turtle needs for the water? No, I don't memorize these things by heart because I don't really need to. For North American turtles, um, especially the painted turtle, if they naturally live around your area where you live, you pretty much could just, you don't really need a heater because 
you know, in the wild, they would be living in that same temperature of water anyways. If you wanted to find out how much, what temperature of water needs to be, uh, just Google it. It's there. Colin Below asked, so where can I get a good tank? My response to that is at the pet store. Our Turtles posted a year ago, I heard Mississippi maps stay fairly small, but I don't know how small. I have a 55 gallon for a male. Would I ever need to upgrade? If it's a Mississippi male, 55 gallons should be fine. I don't think you'll ever have to upgrade on top of that. Just uh, make sure you actually fill it up with 55 gallons of water. And I'd recommend you put an above tank basking area on it. So over there, I have a video on how to make a very simple above tank basking area. And you just, yeah, that, that should be good to go. I, if you want to upgrade, it'll be kind of cool, but you technically don't. Um, yeah, 